Welcome back to my channel. So today is a crab boy mukbang with a special guest today. Ki Ki Yono. Alright, so today we are gonna be eating in front of you guys, of course, and talking about a few important things like how to be confident, just basically chit chatting and eating. You know? Yeah, we're not supposed to be talking while eating, but, but who cares? Who cares, right? What we have in the bowl, we have snow crab legs, we have shrimp, we have potato, egg. we have eggs, we have sweet sausage. corn, we have sausage, we have the whole shebang yep. in this bowl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Me, I'm ready to dive in. I'm not talking too much. But um, Kiana has a few things to like, you know, talk about and say, so she can start. No, okay. So a lot of people aren't confident. Um, me personally, I used to get bullied when I was little for being a relate or whatever you may say. For being what? A relate. <laughs> really? Like over the average um sign. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I think I just built confidence by like dressing how I wanted to dress and not really caring what people said. Um, I used to cry though, yeah. but then I just stopped caring because like I don't care. And now I think I like grew into my body because when you're small, you know, you're just chubby and whatever. Mm -hmm. But I grew into my body and my head is still big. I had a big. Yeah, I have big head too. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> but no, rude. I just grew into my head, honestly, like. And I go to my body and stuff. So now it's like everybody wanna be on me. They like me now. Right. I don't like them. They can stay over there. So do you still talk to the people that bully you in high school? I didn't talk to them in high school. Like, I didn't talk to them. But no, honestly, a lot of them now follow me on like social media and stuff and they be trying to like get with me. Cause it was mostly guys, but you know they mm -hmm. say when the guys bully you they like you, but I didn't yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't don't bully me. Like, they don't like me. Who does that? Yeah. You have to be mad enough to come tell me that you like me. Like you like me? Yeah. Don't bully, bully me, me and make me lose self esteem and right. be not confident. But like, just do what you want to do. Don't really care about what people say. Don't don't take stuff to heart. Like just be like yeah whatever and still know that you are the sugar honey I see. You know? Mm -hmm. You know what? Take it easy. Sugar. Honey, iced tea. Like sugar, spice, everything nice. No, like no, girls. no. Sugar is honey, H, ice, ah, uh, tea, yeah. tea. You gotta get it. It's a good <laughs> thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just don't care, bro. Just keep doing what y'all doing. And even for the the girls that like got bullied for being too small, because a lot of people get bullied for being too small. Like you can never win in this in world. In the world, yeah. It's like you get bullied for everything. It's always gonna be somebody that doesn't like something, and it, and it's always somebody that wants to be like you. Like it might be a small girl who's like, dang, that girl so she's so like voluptuous. So I really mm -hmm. want to be like her. And it might be, it's gonna be probably like a more plumper girl that says, dang, I wish I was small. But they both want to be like each other, you know. So you just gotta stay positive, stay confident in yourself. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Yep. Nothing at all. It goes for everyone. You have a bully story? Um, to be honest, I wasn't really bullied in high school. Because there was nothing like bullying in high school. The only kind of bully we had in high school, like in a Nigerian high school, is let's say someone from grade 12 mm -hmm. bullying someone in grade 10. Uh -huh. So it's not like a classmate bullying type thing it's just like seniors bullying, bullying juniors, class, yeah. which is normal because you know when you get to that senior level you're gonna do the exact same thing uh -huh. to the junior level so it was never like a oh yeah i'm bullying just because oh i'm bullying this person oh my yeah. god i have low self-esteem i'm mm -hmm. gonna like you know it was nothing nothing like that but yeah i completely agree with her you know to be the confidence just don't care look at yourself in the mirror talk to yourself every every day yep say you're beautiful you're smart and that thing is gonna resonate with you and it's Every gonna day. it's gonna be with you. And I remember though, most of the time when you're getting bullied, it's because the bully want have you have something that the bully wants. Mm -hmm. Or you you probably have a feature or something that the bully doesn't have and they want it. I'm telling you. Or the person just has a bad, a bad life. I feel like 
Do you feel like a girl should rush into losing her V card? Absolutely not. If you're a girl from age, I don't even care how old you are. You can wait. Rush. You, you gotta wait till marriage. I'm gonna tell you right now. Wait, not for real. If I can, seriously. If you can wait to marriage. Oh, if you can. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. if you can. If you can wait to marry, we got no peer pressure. You wanna be like your friends. You wanna, you know, feel among. Because I feel like that's why a lot of a lot of females do it. True. You know, they wanna have funny stories or fun stories. Like well, I friends. lost mine because I really cared about the person. I me and the person were really, really close, mm -hmm. and I felt like I was ready. I lost my, I lost my, I don't know if I should say the word, but I lost my V card at 17 years old. But if you can wait, wait that thing out. Seriously. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about tattoos? Cause you personally don't have any, but I have eight. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like tattoos. Why you don't have any though? Um, I don't know if I can handle the pain. I have low tolerance for pain. I mean, very low. I have piercings. I love piercings. I have piercings. That's the same thing. But that is like a one-time prick, you know, like a one-time ticket, and then it's done. But when it comes to piercing, you're sitting there for hours. Well, when it comes In to pain. tattoos, you said piercing. Sorry. <laughs> When it comes to tattoo, you're sitting there for hours in pain. Right. Depending on the, you know, the size or the kind of, you know, art you want on your body or whatever. So I don't know if I can handle that much pain. I have eight tattoos. I have a tattoo on my hand and like a couple on my arms, you know, whatever. Whoop -de -whoop. All my tattoos need something though. I feel like some girls kind of like, how do I say this? Some girls kind of like put themselves out there by the clothes they wear. Cause I like to wear short shorts, but that doesn't mean I like to be like, you know, like. Stop, stop. Yeah, you know? And people seem to think like, because you wear short shorts or short dresses, <laughs> you're disgusting, <laughs> that you want to, you just want attention. What do you think? I don't care about that. I would dress the way I want to dress. Right. Period. So how do you feel if you had a boyfriend and your boyfriend was like, hey, not wearing that. Would you wear it? Um, it was just shorts and a shirt, bro. You know, I would I would take his concerns into consideration. We all have the way we want our partners to dress and look. But I don't. You don't control them, though. It's just your partner. I know, but like, I don't want. I don't. If you're, let's say, you're married and That's you put different. on something that has your your whole city out that's different you're married, you're married. but you're oh. just my boyfriend you don't control what i wear of course i'm gonna respect you because you are my boyfriend so i'm not gonna go out and show you well my body because at the time i'm supposed to be committed to you but if i want to wear a little short short but there's a way he's gonna tell you though you know he's not controlling he just cares well, you know guys that yeah, i did they just I don't wear it. Where you wanna wear that to? Why you wanna go to Walmart in there? Like, so what? So, so what do you think about polygamous relationships? <laughs> a, man with, a man with two women. So I, I think it's pointless. And I feel like if you're gonna do that, you should just not be in a relationship. Honestly. Not be exclusive. Yeah just go be with your separate people and you're just not ready to be committed to one person because I mean some places you can get married to more than one we still I mean people but um uh, nah I'm good on it yeah <laughs> I don't like I don't like sharing yeah I can't see my uh, I have to whoop, whoop, you know <laughs> I'm not gonna fight another female over a guy, but now that's a good question. Now, would you fight another female? Girl, over a guy? yeah, I would, and I'm not even gonna cap, and I'm sorry because I might be a little ghetto, but yes, I would because especially if the girl's just doing it to be spiteful and disrespectful. But if you know that that's my no, look, well, I understand that. Let's say I'm gonna fight the guy first, of course. Let's say 
Cause I'm, I'm you're with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And then this girl is your friend. Yeah. And she knows that you guys are together. I can see you. Okay, well she gonna have to get. I can see you like messing the guy up and messing her up because she knows that you guys are together. You already know how to get out. But if she doesn't know you from anywhere, then and no, I the guy that. probably lied to her that he doesn't have a girlfriend. I would genuinely talk to her. She's honestly. innocent. I wouldn't talk to her as a friend, but I would genuinely talk to her like, girl. I probably mess around and call her a couple B words at first, but then if I figure out like she ain't know, I just be like, you know what? I apologize. No, no, I ain't about nothing. <laughs> but I'm no. just saying, you know what? You can have him. God bless you. Yeah, I'm not. I ain't even gonna fight if she didn't know. And if she chooses to stay with him, then that's her dumb. And yeah. you know, she just with it. It could never be me. And that's so period. Don't say what it could never be you, because you never know. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. not, I'm not fighting no. You never say never. I'm never fighting no girl. I will mess him up. No, I, I fought a girl before, so I just don't care. Well, I care, but she already knew, so. So, she knew that you guys were together? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a different her. That's a different type of beast right there. That's a different type of anger. Like, you that's know. because you know. Yeah, he you is, know. You still go to You that. know that she was not my friend, but I knew of her because we all went to the same school. Like, don't even play that game. Yeah. Even though we're not friends, like, I would not even do that. I'm a friend of someone I know. Because we are not friends. But the thing is, like, I still wouldn't do it. Oh, you're different. Because if, if I would. Okay, let's say, let's say, let's say. Even though, uh, let's say we're not friends, right? But if I see you, I say hi to you. And like, you know, we, we talk for like two Duh, seconds. Duh, because I say hi to you. We're yeah. not friends, but I'm not gonna call you to my house to hang out with me, but we're not friends. But I still wouldn't like Yeah, get because you. I say hi to you, that's different. I say hi to you in the hallway, that means that I, I even go out my way to acknowledge you, and I don't do that. All right, so would you date your friend's ex-boyfriend? Don't even ask me no stupid shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's some dumb stuff, bro. Like I don't know how people do that shit. No, I would not. Cause you, gotta, you, you came welcome. to me and told me all the stuff this man did to you about y'all lies and intercourse and stuff, and then I'm gonna go turn around and date him. Cause you know girls do that stuff like. Oh, what I'm they listen to everything the guy is doing to you and like the and sex game or whatever me. and then they go like I'm gonna go try if it's that good and then boom let me tell you something heartbroken if you think you might want to be with my ex go do it baby <laughs> have at it for real <laughs> all of them nah bro all of them <laughs> I don't play that game more. like if you're my friend I don't expect you to like Talk to my ex. And if you Here do, we. be prepared to catch these bows. <laughs> I'm swinging at you, full fledged, because you're wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna teach you something. <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight you. I'm just, she, I'm just gonna, she not. I'm just gonna she let the go. opposite of me. Like I, she know I'm gonna fight, her, but she, <laughs> I'm not gonna fight her. So, <laughs> I am. No, I'm gonna let the Lord handle it. In Jesus' name, and he gave me these hands to throw at them. <laughs> I'm gonna take them and go. <laughs> exactly, I'm not. I'm not playing. God gave us hands to throw, and we gonna throw them. <laughs> and we gonna throw them. Period. God did not give me your hands to punch people. Okay, but God gave me hands though. Why? Why would God give me? Why would God allow me to know how to fight if He didn't want me to do it sometimes? I just say like exactly, God, yeah. They God like, created you like, knowing how to fight. Like, God created me as me, and He know how Kiana is. So God, you know how your child is. <laughs> he know, cause why would He create me to be able to throw him if He didn't want me to throw <laughs> Not like that, cause you will give me up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is gonna be the end of this mug band, cause if there's nothing to eat, there's nothing to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't y'all But um Thank you guys for tuning into this video I hope you guys got hungry While watching us eat And I hope you guys went to your to your kitchen To get food to eat Because yes. this was juicy And it was really nice And it was yummy in my tummy Yay
I'm gonna do a cash out giveaway. If y'all could uh, count the amount of times I said my name in this video, oh, oh snap. My name or progress name in the video, I'll cash it for $30. I'm pretty sure you're saying it just once. No, I don't think so. Yes, you did. I didn't say my name. You said video. your name one time, and I need that $30. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You're not in the video. You said me, Kiana. I said progress sometimes too. Or, count the amount of times I said, mm, period. You never said period. I did you say said period. period more than once, like maybe like two or three times. I know what I said. Tell hey, your friends to come subscribe and come count so they can get $30 too. Yes, anyway, this is the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Let us know if you want us to do more mukbangs. Yes, we don't mind spending money buying crab legs to eat in front of you guys at all. We have no problems doing that. Ah, right? Bobby, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and being a remain subscriber and not unsubscribing after the giveaway. Right. Thank you guys for all my loyal subscribers out there. And let us know the kind of videos you want us to do together. This is a very vibrant human being, a very extroverted, a very charismatic, a very playful, a very joyful person. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're gonna, you want to see her more in my videos, let me know what kind of videos you want us to do together. And we're definitely going to... Bring it to you guys to watch and laugh and enjoy and have fun. All right, Yay. thank you guys. And let me know if you um, experience anything we've talked about in the video in the comment section below. Let us know what your experiences are. We're gonna be reading all your comments. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.